Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying Part-Time UFO, a wonderful little game made by the creators of Kirby. It's made by HAL Laboratory, the same developers who make all the wonderful Kirby games. This actually released on mobile devices not too long ago, I think like a few months back, but now it's available on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm really excited to give it a try. Definitely let me know if you wanna see a full series on this one, but with that being said, let's get started with Part-Time UFO. <laughs> this is so cute, I love it. Oh, watch out! Oh, oh no, he lost all of his stuff. Dag damn it, my precious giant oranges. These old bones can't them back down the truck. Well, don't worry about it, it's a little uh, UFO, huh? You, young and drifting around, could you help me? I sure could. Put the cargo on the truck. Sure. So as you can see, we just can press the button to pick up the orange. Hover over the object you want to grab, then press A or B to lower your claw. Hmm, but if it's too big. If the UFO gets too close to grab grabbable objects, you won't be able to bring out the claw. To let go of the object you are grabbing, press A or B again. Sure thing, so we got this little orange box here. Blinking objects are important. Work is done when you load enough blinking cargo to reach the goal. You can get a bonus for loading the other cargo too. But if you don't finish in time, you'll lose the bonus. That's right, there's no reward for working overtime. Gotcha. I'm glad we're getting a reward in general, to be honest with you. I, I was doing this out of the goodness of our little UFO heart. So let's go ahead and dump this orange box right over. But I guess if we wanted to multitask, oh, and we do get extra time for delivering things. But couldn't we, in theory, pick up an orange, Whoa, that's a big orange over there. Um, and put the oranges inside of this little basket. The controls are very floaty, and it's so cute how this guy just looks like the UFO ability from Kirby, you know? Okay, hold on, not what I wanted. Uh, you know what, let's, let's get the big orange right here. Oh, this is a big orange, all right. That's a whole meal worth of an orange right there. All right, so let's bring this all the way over as well and then we can get some overtime done. Mine's almost there. Uh, there, perfect. Oh wait, is it done? Oh, I guess he was waiting to say, good work! But I wasn't done, I wanted to keep going. Get more overtime done. I guess I'd have to put it in the basket. Gotcha. Your pay, $700, $1,000, wow, look at us! But I didn't do the oranges, okay. You can get medals by completing secret goals while working. As you earn more medals, you'll open up more job opportunities. And that's not all. Earn all three medals in a job, then you'll unlock a more challenging double star version of the job. Cool, so could we try it again? Look at all of our money though. 1,130. <laughs> that really helped. Here's your pay, go ahead and take it. Hmm? Is this the first time you've ever been paid for work? You youngins drift around doing nothing with your lives. Well, I ain't gonna stand for it. Oh. To help this alien drifter settle down on Earth, the man hands the UFO a magazine with job listings. And so begins the UFO's life on Earth. Well, isn't that wonderful? Okay, so we can find some more work or we can check out the shop. I'm a little bit curious to see what's in here. Whoa, <laughs> I thought little genie. Oh, a customer. Welcome to the first Earth branch of the Cosmic Apparel Shop. I tried to make this place fit in with your Earth scenery, but it seems like only kids shop here. And we're also not from Earth, it seems. But you found us, yay! And I can tell that you're a big, generous spender. We've got all kinds of stuff, even outfits that will make you fly around a bit differently. Really? So we have like outfits like the Beanie Man, warm and makes it easy to go slow. That'll be a thousand dollars. So I guess it will. It's like different cosmetics that have different gameplay types. Browse around. All right. Um, we got the Drum Major. Drum Major, lead yourself down the path of victory. That'll be a thousand. Not tonight. Browse around and just say the word if you like anything you see. And the package deliverer. Package deliverer. The package always gets there. That'll be a thousand. I, I feel like that would be a good one. That, does that mean my job gets done for me? There you go. Ooh, that really brings out your curves. 
Just between you and me. If you press L or R during a job, something cool happens. And what happens changes depending on what you're wearing. Isn't that fun? Give it a try. So I guess like, oh, there was, there was more here, but I can't quite afford these. Interesting. So I guess it's like different abilities that come with the different costumes and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so let's also take a look at this. This is where I, I presume we could change the clothing that we have. Like now we have the package silver. Whoa, look at this little fashion show. Looking good. All right, um, hmm. And Feats of Glory, I'm sure this will tell us, you know, what we've accomplished in terms of achievements. This is the Feats of Glory page. Attempt the challenges shown here. Complete four in the same square, and you'll unlock a UFO memory. Okay, it's not much, but it is whimsical. I like it. So we got two of them done right there. That's cool. I transport over 40 objects across all jobs, earn nine medals, so we'll work on those and hopefully maybe we'll get some unlocked more in today's episode. Uh, but there we go, we got farm one, my first paid job. We could do it again, but maybe I'll do that later. We have ocean one and we have worksite one. So ocean one, catch the fish moving all around. Uh, let's give it a try. Whoa. Ahoy and hooray, load five fish on board and then we sail away. Five fish on board. These are some big fish, too. Come here, little fish. Can I get the... Oh, I can't get the seagull. Oh, maybe this is... Oh, okay, so these are like little emotes. So we got a thumbs up and we got, you know, ringing the doorbell to deliver your package. That's cool. Okay, we got this red fish right here. Let's drop you off. Whoa, there's Box Boy in the background. Oh, that's cool, you can just see him back there. That's of course another Hal Laboratory game. We played Box Boy and Box Girl last year when it came out. Very fun little game for sure. All right, there's another fish. That one's yellow and blue. This guy is not happy about getting caught. So I'm a little bit confused. How do I get more stuff, you know, if... Whoa, what in the world is this? Ah, no, come back. Why did you drop it? Where did it go? Oh, it's gone. Oh no. Well, at the very least, I can try to get one of each type of fish. That seems to work pretty well. I'm sure that'll be a challenge. Completed with that. I like these ones too. There we go, there we go. Ooh. Got it. Oh no, don't fall off. Ah, hey, hey, hold on. You get back here. I guess I'll get another one. I guess that is something we'll have to be pretty careful about, though, is them rolling around like that. How we stack things up is very important. There we go, come on! Quite the haul of fish we have here. Good work! Show off your awesome work to everyone who's not working. Just press plus to take a picture of your successful effort. And then uploading it on, uh, onto social media. Or not, if you're not on social media. <laughs> Share a photo and you'll get to view a special illustration commemorating that job. Sure. <laughs> uh, well, there we go. Now, I don't wanna post to Facebook or Twitter, sorry. Uh, I like the happy fisherman in the background. Thank you for sharing, unable to share. <laughs> All right. So what do we got going on now? Your pay, we get another thousand dollars. Do we get anything special? Yes! I wasn't able to get that little sea urchin up there, unfortunately, but I wouldn't take too much work just to go back there and do it again. But I like that. It really makes it worth it to replay through the levels, get all the extra little medals. All right, well, let's just get back into it and we'll do that third job now. Uh, the work site one. The boss will be mad if the pillars aren't straight. All right, then let's make those pillars nice and symmetrical. Appeal into the eye. Uh, put all the pillars end at a roof. Let's build a temple. Hmm. All right. So where exactly is this going? Just here? I guess maybe we're just building our own. No, no, no I forgot the little cap. That was perfect too. Oh. Lots of delicate movements here. I can see how that one costume where we move slower could be a huge help. There we go. So can I pick this up or like one of these? I can pick this up. Uh, Maybe I should look around a little bit first. Ah, oh, you look so disappointed by it. It was like, no, you missed. Look at this guy. <laughs> I love him. Um, hey buddy. Box Boy's in the background again. I wonder if he's in the background for every level. 
I love the art of this game. I really like pixel art, and this game is super charming with it. Art style is great. Ready? Right there. Whoa! Okay, let's put this little guy back there. That's what I want. I'll plop him in. Ready? And... Got him. Don't knock it over. Thank you. Yeah, those pillars are nice and strong. Eh. So as long as we, like, don't complete the goal, I think we can get a lot in there. I guess that's sort of the point, is that you can actually put on as many as you want, or many objects as you want, it just you gotta not complete the goal first. Oh, that was a little close though. Um, I don't think, well no, I did say one more, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Because we'll try this now, I just don't want it to end on me. Oh, I think I can grab it by the tip, it has like a little bit of a bulb shape. Oh yes, I can. Let's be careful. It's so cool because it's like the you know like the little crane game on an arcade. Perfect. Okay, so like yeah, it just you have a maximum of how many things you can put on there, so it's worth it to stack it up. Good work. Yeah, look at how happy they are. Wonderful. So let's see what we get for that. All right, was this? It wasn't symmetrical. I tried. I really did. Darn. Um, but I did get the little guy in there, and we got good timing. So, two out of the three medals is a pretty good score, if you ask me. All right, that is really fun. I like this game a lot so far. Um, let's find some more work. We got five medals, so that's enough to keep moving. We got high school, toy shop, and museum. So, let's do high school one. Help out the cheerleaders. Sure. So I guess we're gonna be stacking the cheerleaders. L-E-T-S-G-O, let's go, cheer squad, let's do this. Take it 3.5 meters high. All right, well, gotta be extra careful with this one because I don't wanna hurt anybody. <laughs> I feel like if they, they topple over, that could be a big problem. Okay, so is this the platform we're loading them on? And there's a couple of them. All the kids in the school back there watching. I just wanna make sure that I do this right because I think that this girl and the other girl on the other side are supposed to be like the outside base formation. Don't know a ton about cheerleading, I gotta be honest, but just sort of doing this as best as I can. There we go. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe this will wear helmets for this. There we go, that's good. I'm a little confused, because like I, I feel like three more, so. I don't know exactly. Uh, uh, maybe I should just do her for now, because that seems like the most stable possible thing. And because before it's like, oh, I mean, I guess we you know the fish as well. Uh, but the fish would have just landed back in the water, you know? Oh my, that's a little lopsided. Um, whoa, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you know, the fish just landed right back in the water, and everything else was like, you know, oh, it's just like a box of oranges, you know, if it falls, it's nobody's hurt, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is this is weird. It, they don't really stack up as well as you think. Um, maybe I could like would this count if I just like put her? The she looks concerned. Does that count? Oh, that counts. Okay, well then maybe this she's just gonna be upside down over there. Who is over there in the background? I saw somebody for a second. Okay, let's try this. Oh my. Uh. There we go. I'm sure there was supposed to be a requirement to get it higher up or something. Oh, there's Box Boy in the corner, the bottom left there. Good work, hooray! So we got it done. We got all five of the cheerleaders there. I don't think I got any of the bonus things done. Let's see, definitely didn't get that medal or that one, but I got it done within 100 seconds, so there's something. All right, definitely could have been worse. Okay. So that was a lot of fun. Let's definitely, I wanna get this sort of page done. We'll get the toy shop and museum done. Maybe we'll keep going after that. I don't know how long this game is, but it's, it's very addicting so far. Toy shop one, put away the toys and don't forget to put the lid back on. Power of infinity, how high can you go? Oh, is this like a different thing that wasn't there on the left page here? Get more medals. So I get, we can't move to the next page without getting 10 more medals. So let's complete these two, then we'll try the tower of infinity. Toy shop, put away the toys and don't forget to put the lid back on. Yep, it's always good that when you take things out to play with them, you put them back away after you're done with them. 
Oh, we're doing a little Santa workshop. It's closing time, put away the toys. Make sure to close the box. All right, so first off, to close the box, we need to open it. Uh, so there we go, I'll just leave it like that for now. So that hopefully getting it back over is not gonna be too much of a tr struggle. And the question is, I don't think, I think this is too much. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Because, you know, like normally this would be, oh my. Uh, like if the chicken is one object, right? Let's plot that back down. Um, but if I grab the chicken in the box, is that even possible? I don't know. Come on, ready? Almost, but not quite. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Will this count as one or two? It still says three more in general anyways. It, it didn't even... Oh, the flashing objects are... That's right, I sort of forgot about that. We need to deal with the flashing objects. So as long as we put in everything else first, that's what I'm getting confused. Oh my, okay, we can put this ring in there. Sure, why not? Oh, come on. Can't quite get you. There we go. Got it. Um, and I might as well try to get everything in. Get these two rings. I got one of them. Ooh, can I give it a toss? Hey, look at that. Not quite over where I needed to be, but that's fine. But I guess that's the real struggle here is putting everything together in a way where the lid will actually fit back on. All right, um, I might want to, yeah, I could just go in here and give it all a little push. Might have to pick up the lid a little bit though. And that's where I get a little confused. It's like, how am I supposed to put the lid back on? Cause like usually the level immediately ends when you reach the, the thing. Okay, that's it. Wow, interesting how the physics is working out there. Can I grab this or no? I don't think so. Let's hope that this is enough. I might try to give it a push. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Ooh, ooh, that was working out. There we go. I think that'll be enough space for this final little triangle. We're gonna find out. Yeah, okay, okay, I think. Hold on, hold on. Um, well, it was going well, but then I didn't like go at the right time. Excellent. Let's hope that that's good enough. Now it wants me to put the lid back on. So yeah, that is like a completion requirement this time. <laughs> I like the little smiley face on it. Whoa. Come on, squeeze it down. <laughs> you gotta squish it, you gotta sit on there. Oh no, I might, oh. I might run out of time here. Come on. Oh, the bear is not making this work. Oh no. Why is it doing that? You won't get a bonus if the time goes down to zero. You can pause by pressing plus, which will give you the option to restart the job from the beginning. I might wanna do that real quick. Okay, I'm trying to get everything just right here. So far, so good. Um, I want I, I want the chicken in the box. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this time. I got really lucky before. But I got it like right at a good angle like that. You know what, maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, Maybe I could do that and then like flip the box upside down or something. But you would think that if I get everything in there just right, and there's definitely more room at the top. It was definitely, the trick with this one is to get the triangles in first and get them nice and flat on the bottom. There we go. That's how you clean a toy room up right there. See, if you really try hard enough, cleaning it up is just as good and is just as fun as taking them out and playing with them. All right then, so. Ah, oh, we could have put the ring. Oh, that's so interesting. I never even thought about that. But we could have put a ring around the handle of the thing. That's fun. <laughs> and that would have given us an extra medal. Not the biggest deal that we didn't do it. We could always replay the levels and get the extra medals to get extra stuff. Um, let's get back into it and do museum. Secretly put back the artwork that got knocked over. Okay, why secretly? Were we the ones who knocked them over? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, she looks so sad back there, the poor thing. Oh no, I knocked it over. Please help me with the, the exhibit. All right then. So you can see in the background, nice little context clues, exactly how we're supposed to stack this up. So, oh, this old lady look, looking like she's trying to help. That's always a good thing when 
you know, you make a mistake, at least somebody might be around to help you out. And it looks like the next thing is this shape, because it is sort of like a, a cone. And also the patterns on them are all distinct, so that's gonna help out a lot. The next one, I think it's gonna be that thing on the right, but I wanna look around just to be extra sure. Whoa, and it's like making animations as we pick it up more. <laughs> that little lady's like, shh, don't tell anybody. We all make mistakes. It's always important to help people out when they do, because you never know when <laughs> you might be next. That's a weird way of putting it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I like the UFO back there, too. This game is so adorable! I love it! <laughs> All right, uh... Come on, slowly. Uh, hold on, hold on. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Right there. Oh, man. And everything fits together just right so that it doesn't fall over. Like, they all are sort of shaped to complement each other. Even though it is sort of slanting a little over. So if we could... Oh, my. Come on, come on. I could definitely see how that one costume Oh my, uh, could be useful, the one that makes it so that we can move slower. Just like more precise moves. We're really up here too. Oh my. What's well, the last one? Right there. Ah, don't fall, don't fall! It's wiggling, it's wobbling! Ah, come on, yeah, we did it! Good work, the museum saved! All right. So it looks like, got it set up correctly. Oh, I don't know what's with that little guy guy right there. I didn't see anybody else, that's a little weird. But hey, there we go, we got the museum level done. And. Ooh, it looks like we got our next area going on. I'll take a quick sneak peek at this, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing this one right now. But we got Toy Shop 2, Circus 1, and Ocean 2. Instead, I wanna check out the Tower of Infinity. How high can you go? So I'm guessing this is probably like its own mini game where the goal is just to stack the tower as high as possible without knocking it over. The Tower of Infinity, how to play. Pile the objects brought by the helicopters as high as you can without anything falling over. Watch the time limit too. I'll help you out from time to time with some magic. Go for it, set a new record. I love the art to this game. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll just give it one go and then we'll be all wrapped up for today's video. Pile the objects as high as you can. So we're starting with this right here, wow. This is so cool. You got the television crew in the background. Hey, you got some guy in the microphone. Hey, it's my job. All right, 2.35 meters. Let's keep it going. Ready, let's plop that there. What are these objects supposed to be though, I wonder? All right, all right. I mean, I'm sure that there was maybe like a better way to set this up. Like maybe we should have actually had them like wide next to each other. Cause that way, maybe it would just be a little bit more stable at the bottom. Cause if we're trying to build the tower up, as high as possible. It's not just about height, it's about stability. If you've ever played Jenga, um, you know, that you just don't wanna take them out from the bottom or the whole thing's gonna topple over and then you lose. Oh my, and that's sort of, the order in which they're giving us the shapes definitely makes things a little bit complicated. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if this one's gonna work out. That might be it right there. No, my tower! Ah, and when something falls but be under that little black and yellow line. That's when we lose. Well, I got a new high score, 6.64 meters. Not quite getting into any of the medals, but I'm sure that's something we could practice at a little bit over time. Really fun idea though. This game, in general, is really, really cool. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think I should do a full series in this one? Um, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.